Alright guys, this is another YouTube video I'm doing, but this one is for a very special person that I care and always will care about. She is the very first best girlfriend I've ever had. Well, she's my... It's hard to explain, but she knows what I mean. And I really don't care how many views I get on this video as long as she sees it. This is a video for Marissa Garcia. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Marissa? Anyway, it all started off, I was a, uh, this is how I met her. It, it all started off in high school. I was already a junior in high school when, and she was a freshman. It all started with me cheating on, on her tests, like, in geogra geography class, every time we, um, every time we, uh, every Friday, sorry, she won't stop fucking with me, my dog Alyssa. Anyway, every Friday we would get a test and I would copy Marissa's paper. And if she, if I would fail, then she would fail. But if, if I passed, then she passed. And the teacher would always announce everybody's score on the test. And if she would announce my name first, I'd be like, hey, hey, Marissa, you failed. She'd be like, what? How do you know? And I'd be like, because I copied your test. And after a while, we just started talking and talking. And we just became really good friends at a, at, in such a really short time. Like, sometimes I would just go to school just to want to see her I mean she's one of my most closest she was one of my most closest friends ever and to this day we're still very close best friends and then the summer came around and I got sent to the hospital with a really bad concussion and she was I think she was like the very first person that oh, bit me she was the very first person to call me and try and reach out to me and as soon as I got out of the hospital she was the very first person I called I called to let her know hey I'm doing okay you don't have to worry about me and she was so happy to and relieved to hear from me because I it, it wasn't a near-death experience but I had like the head injury was so bad I had a slight chance of dying but what I'm really here to talk about Marissa so we're talking through the whole summer hanging out and all that and then school comes around again during senior year we really don't get to see each other all that much we started having different classes I was already a senior she was a sophomore but that's what cell phones are for and Facebook and MySpace and Twitter we kept in touch and we would go to hockey games together movies together we I always had so much fun being around her just to hear her voice like even whenever I was about to cry or whenever whenever I was sad she always made the day better and I speak for a lot of people when I say that she's that type of person that you just want to be around her she makes the day so much more fun to be around and this is my shout out to her and that's how I met her you have another fucking text message. I just got a text on my phone. And I, I just, every day I see our friendship going stronger and stronger, even though, like, we're both busy now. She's got a family to worry about right now. I've been working so much. I'm trying to, I'm trying to buy a house right now, but we still talk every now and then. And even though we don't get to see each other as much anymore, we'll always have our memories. We'll always have those great times that we shared. And until we meet again, Marissa, this is me signing off. I love you. Take care.